What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Dave Dave's RC. Home of free giveaways. Reminding all of you guys to fly free or die. Listen, guys, um, real quick, we got a couple of unboxes to do. I don't want to take too much of your time. It's a beautiful Saturday, beautiful Halloween night. It's going to be awesome. Um, my wife's resting right now. When she gets up, we're going to go to Walmart. I promised to buy her some new blankets and bed sheets, so we're going to go do that in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but just real quick, we're going to do some unboxes. Um, I got the T33, which was supposed to be an L39, but I already have an L39, so I decided to get a T33 and put a Joker's paint scheme on it. It's going to be actually, it's got to be pretty cool. I actually got to pick the paint up for it today when I go out to, uh, go out to Walmart. Um, I already see a few of you guys in here. Do I see the Mary Boozers symbol up there? No, sorry. Never mind. Wes doesn't like watching me anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> uh, what do we got? Joseph Youngblood. What's up, man? Sorry, I can't see. LJ, what's up, man? How you doing, Sarge? Tyson, Reckham Roy's, Toby, Toby H. Made a very good comment last uh, night on the, uh, on the, um, on the live stream, he said, how hard is it to give away free money? Because it took so many spins to actually get winners. Um, Michael Roshka, one of our winners right there. What's up, man? How you doing? Raiska, sorry. I will, I will always call you Michael Roshka. Not, not out of disrespect, though. Yo, I, I knew it was you, Cyclops, because of your... Um, because of your, uh, because of your emoji, uh, your um, <clears throat> your symbol, uh, I know that's you. You're the only person that I've ever seen with that Cyclops um, emoji. So yeah, guys, let's get right into the box. Uh, this is an ARF. I actually have the, I actually bought a separate EDF and ESC for this. Um, just gives it. It's it's just going to give it a little bit more performance. That's all. Um, a little bit more of a hotter setup than the stock one that would go in it. Let me grab my knife. Oh. You guys, I'll try to pay attention to the chat as much as possible, but I'm standing way back here and I don't have my glasses on. I think the flex jet is getting the Joker scheme. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put a Joker scheme on your flex jet, dude. <laughs> you should put it on this uh, PT-17 when you get it, Roy. So th for those of you guys that don't know, um, a lot of us YouTubers are being sponsored by Dynam right now. Dave Marshall, Pilot Ryan, myself, uh, Lee Davison. And uh, we're actually being sponsored by Dynam. Dynam sending us uh, these planes to, to do product reviews on and do videos on. That's fine. You can have it, but go over there with it. It's, look, you're already chewing on it. He's a monster, man. That cat is ridiculous. Um, now, now I lost my train of thought. Uh, but anyways, yes. Yeah, so when I get these Dynam planes, if it's something that I'm not going to keep, it'll be something that I give away. Um, I already gave the, um, the Sky Bus to uh shadow ops and roy is going to get this pt-17 as long as he pays the shipping so if you hear me make a, a comment about the pt-17 going to roy it's uh it's true it's true roy will have this pt-17 after i'm done with it it'll be his christmas present from dave's rc All right, so we're going to get this main wing out of here. It's just like the L39, guys, where it's one solid wing, one piece, which is really cool, actually. Oh, I'm still dealing with this hand, man. My hand is, like, starting to get better. I think I'm going to take tomorrow's game off because um, I can't risk re-injuring it right now. I got the Boozer event coming up here pretty soon. And uh, I definitely need my hand working when I go to the Boozer event. I'm going to have to drive down there. Is
It's playoffs this week, though, for our flag football team. So it's going to suck missing our first playoff team, but at the same time. All right, that's enough out of you, mister. That's enough. No, you're not going to keep doing this. That's just stupid. That's just crazy. I can't believe you've already made that kind of a mess. Look at that. I can't believe you did that. That's ridiculous. Don't wink at me. Um, one of the cool things that I liked about this plane from the very beginning when I, when I first saw it was the split flaps, you guys. And it does have split flaps. They're kind of like split flaps. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of like a partial. See how it's got your flap here, but it's actually way more flap than you would expect when you pull it down. Um, really nice, really nice plane. It's, it's too bad that I'm going to have to paint over this and put a paint scheme on this. But at the same time, it's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do the Joker scheme on this. Uh, it's going to be very dark, the darker colors. I don't know if you guys um, you guys know who um, – oh, Jesus, what the hell is his name? He's the young man that played Joker, That in, uh, Heath Ledger. Uh, I'm going with his color scheme on the Joker colors. They're very dark and kind of methodical. Um, so that's the colors that I'm going to go with is the darker ones. Um, these are the, uh, the wingtip fuel tanks. It's just one of them. They're actually quite sizable. You guys, they're pretty big. It looks like a submarine. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let me go ahead and get this bottom part undone. So how's everybody Saturday going so far? Hopefully everybody's having a good Saturday so far. Hopefully you guys are getting out and getting some flying done or going to have some flying done. You don't touch that. You leave that styrofoam alone, Mr. Cat. Um, I'll just get this out of the way now. It's too bad. Yeah, like I said, it's too bad that I got to put another paint scheme on this. But you know what? It's going to look nice, guys. It's going to look really nice. Uh, I'm really going to take my time with this one. Uh, I had a buddy that was going to help me out, but I haven't talked to him in a while. He hasn't. He hasn't. Uh, he hasn't got back to me. Um, rudder. Yeah, that's the rudder. Yeah, rudder. Get it out of this package. Kind of a small rudder for the plane, but I don't imagine it has to be much bigger than that. It's actually, yeah, it's kind of a small rudder in comparison to some of the other rudders that are out there. It's kind of tiny, kind of a small little guy. I'm not sure if any of you guys have spoke to Dave Kowiski lately, but hopefully he shows up to the Boozer event because I have something for him. Something. Uh, something that his wife asked me for way back when at Jet Jams. And I have something for Mr. Kowiski. So I'm hoping that he does show up to the Boozer event. I don't know if he is, uh, but here's your elevator system, guys. It's a very simplistic design. It's just like the L39. I can see the way they molded this plane. It's, it's, it's a lot like the L39. All right, let's get into the canopy. Let 
And that was the other thing that I liked about this one is it is a two seater guy. So we will be able to put the Joker and Harley Quinn in there, which will be cool. It's going to be sick guys. Canopy. And the last but not least, this big old fat fuselage. The T-33 does have a pretty fat fuselage. Look at that. Like I said, I do have, this is an ARF. Guys, so there is no EDF in there. I actually have an EDF showing up. It'll be here Monday. This is going to be nice, you guys. This is going to be nice. It's going to be pretty cool. Can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to just start the paint job on it, you guys. That's going to be that's going to be the fun thing. All right, guys, now off the table with this. We'll get this PT-17 going. Check the chat out real quick before I get going. Uh, Law building. You will love the T-33. First, the RDF and Flash Gray. I have been weathering it the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> when I was at Jet Jams, I saw more of these T-33s flying than anything, you guys. Uh, Shelby Seelbach, there he is. There's our other winner. There's one of the other ones. Yeah, I know it's almost a shame that I'm gonna have to paint over this this T33, but I'm, I promise you guys right now it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice. I promise you guys that. I will not. I will not. I will not disappoint. Um, so for most of you guys that don't understand what's going on, um, James from Motion RC has an L39 that he has batman out. He has it all blacked out with Batman symbols on it. Very simplistic paint job and paint uh, and design. Um, but he wanted to um, do a collab video with me. So I said, well, what if I take an L39 and paint it up like, you know, like a Superman plane? And he's like, well, why the hell would Superman need a plane? And I'm like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Superman definitely does not need a plane. Um so he's like, well, what, what about a Joker scheme? And I was like, all right, cool. So I'm thinking and thinking and thinking. Last week, uh, last month, I almost pulled the trigger on it, buying a brand new L39. And I was like, I already have an L39. I have a really nice L39. I've got a Top Gun scheme L39 that I painted up when it first came out. Um, and I was like, I don't want to buy a new L39 to do this project. I would rather buy a plane that I don't have and put the scheme on it. So I'm thinking, well, what's the most comparable plane to the L39 that Motion RC carries. Well, it's the T33. I mean, if you put them side by side, the only difference is the nose and the size of the rudder. That's pretty much it. You guys, the, the planes are pretty much identical other than that. Um, so I decided to go with the T33. Me and James at the Boozer event are doing a collab video where we're going to have the two planes together, the Joker plane and the Batman plane. Uh, it should be pretty cool, man. Um, it, it's so that for those of you guys that don't know what's going on, that's what's going on. You guys, that's why I'm doing the video. That's why I'm painting this plane. Um, not doing the video, but that's why I'm painting the plane. So give me one second guys. Let me get, let me start unboxing Roy's plane here. Roy, I have to tell you that shadow ops is very jealous that you're getting this plane, man. So you should be very thankful because this was going to go to him. And what a nice guy he is. He said, you know what? You can give that one to Roy. So you should thank Eric, not me. Because he could have been like, fuck Roy. Roy who? <laughs> Roy who? Oh, man. Uh, this, this plane, it, it seems heavy. The box seems very heavy. It's heavier than the T-33 box. Oh. 
So yes, Roy, you should be very thankful because uh, Shadow Ops did you a solid on this one. PT-17 to me. This is sick, you guys. Still the same Dynam fashion, guys, with the... Uh... Oh, man, I gotta stretch. Um, with a lot of cardboard. Not a lot of foam with these guys. Looks like they're using a 50-amp ESC. That's definitely 4S. My nephew is going to be over here a little bit later on. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get this done and get these boxes cleaned up and out of here before he does show up. Massive carbon spar, you guys. This thing's like at least three feet long. Two and a half. Well, we'll say. It's like three feet long, guys. It's a three-foot carbon spar. All right, so I'm just going to go through these boxes quickly. Very nice. Very nice. Massive, massive, massive plane. This thing's gonna be pretty uh pretty big. It does have lights, guys. I'm liking that. I'm really like that, yeah. Very nice. Somebody's texting me. I wonder who that could be. Let's go to our handy dandy notebook. Oh somebody already did a Batman L39. Or T33, that looks like. Oh, no, that's not a um, that's not a real plane, is it? Or an RC plane, is it? Hmm, nice. That's cool. That's that's uh, That gives me a couple of good ideas, actually. So thanks for sending that. I think that was Lee Davidson. All right, guys, let's... Uh... Let's get this out of here. So the top wing does not have any ailerons on it, you guys. There's only ailerons on the bottom wing, I'm guessing. And I think the real PT-17 was like that. It only had ailerons on the bottom. The The top wing was made, made basically just for lift purposes only. As you guys can see, it's actually not bad. It's actually in pretty good shape. Let me turn this light on real quick. Get us some extra light in here. Ah. Not bad. Really thin wing root. Roy, I'm going to try everything that I can to put this thing together in a fashion in where I can disassemble it to get it back in this box. So I'm not going to throw this box away. <clears throat> um, so that way, after I'm done doing the review on it, I can get it sent out to you. Um, same deal, you guys. Very nice looking plane. Now, I don't know if this is the full yellow one or if this is the blue and yellow one. Uh, Roy, once again, I'll probably won't even put the decals on this. I mean, actually, I'm going to have to for the video. Never mind. Never mind. Forget I said that. I'm going to have to for the product review. 
Um, all right. On with the show. Oh, it is the blue one, you guys. Nice. Look at that. Mr. Thorwood. It's the blue one. Nice. I was hoping it was the blue one, you guys. I don't know why. I was just hoping that it was the blue one. That is awesome. Holy smokes, man. Wowzers, that is really heavy. That's a big, heavy motor up front, you guys. That's all I can say is it's a big-ass heavy motor up there up front. Uh, looks like the... Looks like the cow's definitely loose. That thing is heavy. The front end of this plane, that is heavy. It's like these are weights. Oh, they are. They're, they are weights. Every one of those cylinder heads has a weight in it, and they're glued in. Wow. I guess that's what they had to do to get this thing to CG out. Wow. Holy smokes, you guys. That is massively heavy. That is heavy. That's probably, oh, I don't know, at least three pounds, two, two, two and a half pounds. That, that's heavy. That's really heavy. I don't know if anybody's ever, I don't know if anybody else has mentioned that, how heavy that cow is, but it's got, it's probably got 40 ounces of weight in it. For Christ's sakes. Wow, holy smokes. But yeah, there you go, guys. It is the blue one, Roy. There you go, man. That's cool. That's cool as hell. You know, I was sitting here thinking all week long. I'm like, you know what? I hope it's the blue one. I really hope it's the blue one. And sure enough, you guys, we got it, and it's the blue one. That's awesome. I'm excited. That is cool, man. I was really hoping it would be the blue one. So they must have had to have... Uh, to, in order to make this plane go right, they must have had to have designed that cowl up front the way they did so that they could add all that weight to it. Unreal. Unreal how heavy that cowl is. Wait till you get it, Roy. You're going to be amazed at how heavy that cowl is. That's craziness. That's so crazy. It makes me want to snap your mama. All right, so this is just all the hardware bits. You know, Dynam used to send two props. And now they don't. I wonder why they stopped doing that. Um, just these are all the bits, you guys. Wires. It looks like cables. I don't know what the cables are for. I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to find out what everything's for. I tell you what, man. There's a lot to this to build it. There's a lot to this to put it together. I can already tell that. This is the uh, the gear, you guys, the front gear. Uh, it, you know, this is going to take some time to put together, so we are going to take our time putting it together. We don't want it to mess up. These are these are the the, the rods and springs for the uh, elevator and the uh, rudder surfaces. Got our tail wheel, screwdriver, all the dynam bits that you're going to need, all the hardware, three tubes of glue, you guys, everything in there that you'll need to put this plane together. It's probably more than enough. I always end up with extra stuff when I'm putting a uh, – a dynam plane together. All right, so let's get this stuff and put it over here. Oh, by the way, I do have the full flight video of the P61 and the review. I just haven't put it up, guys, because I have to do a little bit of editing, which I never do. Uh, but I forgot to do an outro that day. Um, when I, when I did that plane and, uh, it, the video doesn't look right without the outro. So I'm going to do a, a small, like exterior outro days later. Um, so that way I can post the video up. So just be patient with me on that. It is almost done. Elevator, rudder, and 
more plastic bits. Oh, those are our control surfaces. I'm going to check the chat in a second, guys. So if you guys had any questions or you had anything to say, please rewrite it now. That way, when I go over in a couple seconds and look. Uh, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hinge that, you guys, this uh, this this rudder. So, Roy, when you get this, this will already be pre-hinged. I'm actually going to cut that foam hinge, and I'm going to hinge it with hinges. Uh, it's what I've done with all my dyno planes. I always hinge the rudder. The elevator and the... Um, the ailerons you usually seem to be okay, but for whatever reason, the rudder one is always weak. So uh, one thing that I've always done with all my dynam planes is I always hinge the rudder. If you if you uh, if you actually tell Shadow Ops to show you the the um, the Focke Wolf 190 that I sent him, uh, you'll see that it's all hinged up. Um, even the ailerons on that one are hinged, I believe. Um, yeah, see the elevators are usually pretty good. Just as long as you don't whack it on anything, man. As soon as you whack one of these surfaces on something, like transporting it, it rips the hinge completely. I mean, if, if I were you guys, when you buy a dynam plane, I would go through and cut all these hinges, and I would put your own hinges in some type of, like, hinge tape um, or, um, or a uh, – like, I've been using um, Kinney uh, Hanger 51. Had this awesome idea of um, taking your um, – your old tubes of toothpaste and cutting them into strips. And you can actually use that for, um, you can actually use that for, uh, for making hinges. You guys, I actually did it and it worked. So close. You want to be able to tell. It's the blue one air marshal. Look. Oh, I imagine you will, Roy. Absolutely. Roy says he's going to fly the piss out of this plane. I, I imagine you will. Um, so, yeah, those of you guys that don't know, those of you guys that just showed up into the, the live stream, uh, every time I get a Dynam plane that I do a review on, um, I just don't have the room for them here, you guys. So once I do the review, um, they're out the door to one of you guys. Um, and I have been giving them the shadow ops. Um, but uh, Roy was really excited about this one. And uh, Shadow Ops gave him the benefit of the doubt and said, well, I guess you could take this one. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, man. <clears throat> and then here we go, guys. I'm just going to leave these right in the bag for now. But uh, I'll show you guys. Another thing that I like to do with Dynam Planes is swap these servos out to a nice Metal Gear servo, guys. That's a, That's... Not that these servos are not any good, but they do strip. They do strip. I promise you that they will strip eventually. And you'd rather have that fixed before you go up. So the aileron sections go on the bottom. These are the bottoms. The other ones are the tops. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um. Yeah, guys, that's it. That's everything in the box. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and put these boxes back in here for now because once I'm done with the plane, I'm going to disassemble it, and I'm going to send it out to Roy. Roy, you'll have it by Christmas. That's my promise. You'll have it by Christmas. Oh. I still have to go send out Shadow Ops' box. Um. I needed help with it today. Um, stop it! Get out of there. That's Roy's box. Damn, man. Put something on the floor for two seconds, and he has a claws in it already. I'll murk you, cat. I will murk you. All right. So, cool. Awesome. There we go. Um, we'll throw this cover on. Nice. Okay. 
Well, let me jump in the chat here with you guys for a minute. Uh, so I hope you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, to be honest with you, I, that wasn't that wasn't giving Dynam a fair shake at an unbox uh, because I actually did a free wing unbox with it. But um, there's so many unboxes of this plane out there right now, you guys. I just figured I would do this as one big video because if I didn't, I would have had to have done the T33 unbox, shut the stream down, restart a new stream for the T33 or for the uh, PT17. And uh, I just didn't uh, I didn't feel like that was necessary. Uh, let me grab this fuselage real quick, you guys. I'm so astounded about how heavy this goddamn cow is. I just can't get over it. You guys, this cow on this plane, it's ridiculously heavy, you guys. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. There's like so much weight in the front of this plane. And you got to think, you got a battery, a 4S battery that's got to go in there too. They must have had some serious tail heavy problems with this plane. That's why they had to do that because that is a lot of weight. That's heavy, man. That's heavier than a football. Let's see. Um, so if you had like five rolls of quarters in your hands, four, I'd say four rolls of quarters in your hands. That's how heavy that is. About four rolls of quarters. That's insane. They must have had some horrible CG issues with this plane when they were developing it. And they were like, you know what? Screw it. We'll just take that. We'll redesign the cow. And we're just going to throw an ass load of weight inside of that cow. Because you can see it. You can actually see where it's been glued in. Cat, get out of there. Any of you guys want a cat? Um, Shelby, I see that there's a lot of stuff that goes to putting that plane together, man. Um, I'm going to try my best to put it together in a way where it's going to be a little easier to take it apart, but I can already see that there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. I'm hoping it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm hoping that I can at least get the fuselage and the wings separated. That way I can send it out somehow. Um, I, I'm going to try my ass off, I tell you that. Um, if I have to completely disassemble the plane and put it back, you know, put the hardware in boxes, I'm sure Roy will be able to figure it out. Um, let's see. Let's see something real quick. Shelby, I, I can still fit the wing in one piece. I could still put the wing in one piece. I just, I just, I just lined it up real quick here. I can still actually fit the, the entire wing piece in the box. If, if, if I just put a little foam on either side just to buff it so it doesn't get crushed. Uh, but it seems like it's going to snugly fit in there. And if you, if I kind of like counter it a little bit sideways, uh, I'll get it to fit. I will get it to fit. But there's so much wiring, like you just said. There's so much wiring and bracing. Roy, we'll figure it out, man. We'll figure it out. There is a lot to it. This isn't like your normal average plane that you send out to somebody after you do a, uh, after you do a, um, a build and an unbox and and, and, a, and a review on. And then you got to take it apart. This isn't like your average plane. This this is gonna take. This is gonna take. This is gonna take a little bit of. Uh, Reverse engineering by Dave. But I promise you, like Alan Gentry just said, Santa Claus will have a plane for you. Uh, I'm hoping that Santa Claus gets me the MiG-29. That's what I'm hoping. We'll see. Actually, me and my wife were just discussing that our children are grown now. We're not going to have a giant Christmas this year. There's just no, there's no sense in it. The kids have everything they need. Uh, there's no sense of having big, a big giant Christmas. Um, it just doesn't make any sense anymore. Will you get out of my shit, man? Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, Roy, if there's a will, there's a way, baby. We'll get it done. We'll get it done.
the wing supporter cables can just be optional. So, yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. You don't have to put those cables on there. Those are mostly for, like, show, right? Those really aren't – they're not really doing shit, are they? Yeah, Roy, that's basically – yeah, that's what my kids want too, gift cards. We, we, they want gift cards. So that way they can go pick whatever they want. So that's what I'll probably end up doing. I'll probably just end up getting the kids a bunch of gift cards. Um, Thanksgiving and Christmas is for the great food. Yeah, that's what I, yeah, William, exactly, man. I, that's, that's what it is for me now. That's, that's exactly what it is to me anymore. Um, I'm always guaranteed one thing when Christmas time comes around. That my wife always buys me the new NFL um, sweatshirt, the support the troops sweatshirt. I've gotten one for the last six years. I have six of them, and um, she gets me one every year for Christmas, and that and, and she usually gets me the hat to go along with it. And that's that, that's good for me. That's all. That's that's all I care. I, that's really all I care about. But I did hint this year that you know a Motion RC gift card or maybe a plane under the tree would be kind of cool. Um, I even told her I'd help her pay for it just so, just so that there was one under the tree this year. Uh, from side to side, Alan, hold on one second. Tape measure is. Where's my tape measure? From side, let's see. From side to side, I can probably just guess that. Let's see. I don't know, about five or six inches, probably, something like that. Across this way, it's probably about five or six inches, maybe seven, pushing seven. And then long ways, you're looking at. I don't know, just a tad bit, a tad bit more. Yeah, so, um, so Roy, if those cables are optional, I'll probably just X nay on putting them on for in, for right now, and then just leave that up to you, Mr. Wild Bill. What's up, man? Thanksgiving is for the hunting. <laughs> um, I tell you what I would like to do, uh, Shelby. Seems how I don't like killing animals very much. Um, these turkeys one day when I was going down the street, there was like probably about ten or eleven male roost male roosters, big big motherfuckers. And every one of those guys fluffed up at me, and like was acting all hard and shit. So I would definitely like to go shoot a turkey for that. Just to show them that man reigns supreme. Um, so, yeah, I would like to kill my own turkey one year for Thanksgiving. That would be awesome. Geese? Bledsoe, you said geese? Yeah? No shit, huh? You don't like geese, Shelby? I've never had ge I've never had goose before. Uh, maybe it just has to be cooked right. Is that isn't that a real like greasy, greasy kind of like um, bird? It's almost like duck. It's very dark and greasy, right? Mean little bastards. <laughs> I've had duck before. I've actually I I used to. Uh, I used to be a, uh, a sous chef at a, a five-star restaurant um, in Booth Bay Harbor. <clears throat> and um, and I've cooked duck. And I've cooked goose. But I've never I've never really – I have tried the duck. Um, but I wasn't real fond of it. I, don't, I didn't like how greasy it was. Uh, 
Reckham Royce, I agree, man. We'll just get a bottle. Um, Alan, there's no way that up this plane will be built in an hour. This is more like you're going to be fidgeting around and fooling around with so many little things that it's that's going to be very time consuming. That I'm I'm guessing two and a half, three hours to get it done properly and get it done um, to where the planes put together correctly. You know, you're not you're not skipping over anything. You're making sure that all your nuts and bolts are tightened. This plane can be built in one hour if you've built 50 of them in a row so far. That's that's probably. <laughs> yeah, we got geese up here, man. All they do, all they've done is ruined our park. They ruined the park in Portland. There's just duck and goose shit everywhere. It's like. It's, it's like nobody wants to even fucking walk through the park anymore because it's duck and goose shit everywhere. And they're fuck. They're pretty big too, man. They take they take fucking massive. They're massive shit. If you when you walk through the park, all you can see is these like little fucking logs, like little tiny like 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 cylinder like logs everywhere. Almost looks like somebody came and dumped a bunch of pellets around, you know, on the ground. But it's fucking goose shit. It's what it is. It's fucking goose shit. It is gross, man. Like you can't even. Like I said, you can't even walk through the park anymore without stepping on it. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's good fertilizer because the fucking grass grows green around there. Pretty, It grows pretty damn green around there. So it must be a decent fertilizer. We still got 24 people in here, man, on a Saturday, on Halloween. That's pretty good, man. I appreciate that, you guys. As a plumber, I'm going to tell you. All shit is gross. <laughs> yes, Shelby. Yes, sir. It ain't pretty, no matter which 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 species it comes from. <laughs> Put some around a new plant. I actually got that whole fucking box back there is full. Both of those totes are full. And they both need to be stripped down. They both need to be stripped down. <sighs> All this needs to be done. So anybody come help? This all needs to be finished. Needs to be finished. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I got fucking like four or five jars that are just sitting here right now and still have all that shit to do. Uh, Roy, not bad, man. It actually, it actually turned out really good, man. I'm not going to lie, man. Um, my wife, uh, my wife actually had a plant over at her dad's house and that stuff turned out better than everything. Um, that that thing turned out really nice, um, but yeah, man, you're talking like uh, like an 18 or close to 20 foot plant, just over five pounds. That's, I mean, that's insane. That's an, that's unheard of. It's unheard of. Uh, just figuring out what size pilot I need to get for that. Thanks, Dave. Um, well, it's gonna be small, man. It's going to be small. I bet if you went with something like the size of the ones in the T-33 here, that'd be comparable. So about an inch and a half, two, two inches wide by about two inches tall. I guess you could go that size or maybe a little smaller um, is what I think, Alan. 
Um, that's right. Uh, I don't think that this uh, plane comes with a pilot. Um, you definitely will have to get your own pilot. Uh, yeah, swans will attack you. I'll be the first to tell you that a swan will attack you, especially if it has a little ugly ass babies with her. They will attack you. But then they're also kind of timid as well. They, they, it just depends. It depends on, you know, if the, if the damn thing's having a good or a bad day. Puff, puff, give, man. <laughs> You're going to put a minion in the steerman? <laughs> That'll be cool, man. That'll be cool. I definitely have been attacked by a swan before. That was... You know, I was, it was at a petting zoo and they're like, well, yeah, we just kind of leave that one alone. And when I hear that, the first thing going through my mind is I, I want to challenge it. Okay. So that one likes to bite. Well, let's see if it'll bite me. Of course it's going to bite me. What was I thinking? And it did. It bit me. And for those of you guys who don't know about a duck bill or a, or a duck or a goose bill or, or a, uh, or a swan bill, they don't have teeth. What they have is these little ridges. They're like, it's almost like, almost like sandpaper almost. So that when they grip onto a fish, it, it really, there's no way it's getting out of their mouth. Once their bill gets around it, it's just not getting away. It's so rough. And so, so you're not going to get any significant wounds from it. But what you will get is it looks like somebody just took sandpaper and just as hard as they could on your arm and sanded your skin away. That's what it, that's what it does. I didn't even know they ate swan. People eat swan too. It's got to be a greasy fucking thing too. It's got to be greasy as well. Oh, pilot Jerry, there you go, man. I you know, I I've, I've always thought if you don't want to legalize it, at least decriminalize it. That way, if you get caught with it, you don't have to do any jail time or any of that shit. They just take it from you. Big deal, right? No big deal. Um, not like prohibition and shit like that with the alcohol and all that crap. But I'm, I'm just saying, if you don't want to legalize it, at least decriminalize it. Because there's people should not be going to jail for a plant that naturally grows on this planet. <laughs> Flying time. <laughs> That's funny, man. Thank you, Shelby. I've always felt that way. I've, I've always felt that way. I've always felt that no, no one should be going to jail for that plan. Sorry. Just, I don't care how much of it you have. It's, it's not... It's not, it's not a substance that's going to kill you. Cigarettes kill you a lot faster than weed will. I mean, let's just put it that way. Let's just be honest. These big cigarette companies have been killing people for hundreds of years. And um, you want to throw somebody in jail for a plant that actually has more beneficial um, attributes rather than harmful? Marijuana is the world's best kept secret, man. You know, did you know that the marijuana plant has the natural, the, the strongest natural fiber of any plant on the entire planet? Did you know that, that, that the hemp fiber is the strongest natural fiber known to mankind? Natural fiber. I'm not talking about carbon fiber. That's different. That's not a natural fiber. I'm talking about uh, as, as far as uh, plants go. You know what, Nathaniel? I, I just changed the battery out in that thing, too. So it's just being a dick. So, Wild Bill, here's the deal on hash. You actually have a special license to make that stuff here, to make any concentrates here. Because what happens is 
um, that falls under the laws of altering a plant or altering a drug to make a new one. So say all these people that were going to jail back in the 60s and 70s for crack because they were adding a little baking soda and water to it. That's it. That's all they were doing to change the chemical process and, and make it something else. They were adding water and baking soda. So the fact that you're taking your plant and you're adding water to it, you're chemically altering the plant, which actually puts you in a position where you can actually go to prison because you're altering the plant. Even though you're just adding water and ice, it's still considered altering a plant. And therefore, um, it's it's looked at no differently than someone taking cocaine and turning it into freebase. So. Shelby, yes, I'm talking about as far as plant, though. I'm, far, I'm talking about as far as plants. Yeah, si spider silk is probably one of the strongest natural fibers. Yeah, you're right. Um, but as far as something that we can we can harvest and reproduce, um, not unless you want to go like, you want to go like, like steal a bunch of spider silk spiders and then put them in little like, like little sweatshops, little spider sweatshops. And then for pennies on the day, we'll, 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 we'll make them mass produce large quantities of silk, spider silk, spider web silk. That's cruel, man. I can't even believe you would even think of that. <laughs> Shelby, what are you trying to do to these poor little spiders, man? What are you what are you even what are you suggesting, bro? What are you, what are you suggesting here? <laughs> you want a little spider sweatshop? Is that what you want? A little spider sweatshop? We'll make it out of a shoe box, a Nike box, which also comes from another sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> i know you do you do shelby you do bro i can see him man i can see it now you walk into shelby's house he's got little hamsters running on wheels that are producing his electricity <laughs> oh shit Yeah, so yeah, that back in the day during the war, um, the ropes were actually made of hemp. They, they, they're made of hemp because they're just so damn strong. And the salt water actually does not de deteriorate the, um, the fiber. So yeah, that, that's why they still make um, hemp uh, ropes. The Navy, the Navy actually still uses hemp ropes. No, you can't smoke the rope and get high though. No, no, that's, there's a big difference between marijuana and hemp. Hemp is a form of marijuana that is grown specifically for its fibers. Now, marijuana does have a strong fiber as well. It's a little harder to break down because the, st the stalks get so thick. Um, but as far as like the fiber grow the fiber goes the hemp fiber is what we're, what we're looking for here um the marijuana we want growing for its its medical benefits because it's already been proven time and time again that marijuana um no matter how how it's ingested whether it's smoked whether it's eaten doesn't matter it's it, it prevents the growth of cancer cells um some of the best, one of the best things that you can do if you get cancer and you're going through chemo uh, is to smoke a joint every day. Uh, it gives you an appetite so that you can eat because that, that radiation shit that they put through you is going to absolutely kill you. It's going to make you lose your weight. It's going to make you be nauseous all the time. And the only thing to counteract that is the can the cannabis. The cannabis will make you hungry. Um, it'll also help prevent the regrowth of cancer cells as you're smoking uh, so there's, it, it, there's a lot more benefits to marijuana than there are downsides. Um, especially when it comes to cancer. I can't believe that we have a natural, we have a plant that grows naturally on this planet. One of the biggest killers in the past 20 years has been cancer. And we've had a plant all this time, all along that could have saved your life from the very beginning. 
and we've made it illegal. Yeah, welcome to science classes, right? Uh, jet tech, yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, Don, uh, it does. Um, it does. It really does. It helps with a lot more than you guys think. Um, it helps you focus. And uh, if you have an eating disorder, it will definitely help your eating disorder. Like my daughter, she doesn't very eat very much. Um, but when she smokes, she gets an appetite and she can go eat. And that's, that's awesome. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that just proves it to me right there that, that, that it does work. <laughs> yeah, I know Shelby. I know I should start a whole new channel just based on, 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 on the marijuana side of, of my hobby. I was actually trying to change my War Thunder channel because it's been around for a while. I was trying to change the name of it. Um, and for some reason, it's hard to change your name um, on on a uh, YouTube channel. Or it's hard to change the name of your YouTube channel. No, nah, just mix them like you have been, right? It's just all in one. We're just, we're just you know, the package deal here. All right, guys. Hey, listen, I'm going to get up out of here, man. It was it was a hell of a fun time hanging out with you guys just now and chilling. And I need to get these boxes cleaned up. And and, and so when mama gets up, she doesn't come out here to uh, to a mess because my nephew is going to be showing up. Uh, what time is it? Should be here like an hour, hour and a half. And uh, it's his first like official like Halloween um, where he's going to be dressing up and going around and getting candy and stuff. So um Really excited about that. Uh, so I'm going to get this place cleaned up, you guys. I appreciate you guys joining me for the T33 and the uh, PT17 unboxes, you guys. Um, we have a few videos that are going to be coming out this week. So just, you know, I don't know when. I don't, I don't have it on a schedule. Uh, but we have the ESC and the fan to put in the Stinger, the Stinger 90. we got to get that done because that's a plane that's going with us down to Florida. Uh, we've got the T33. we got to put the power plant in that. That's also a plane that's going down to Florida with us. Um, what else was there? Oh, we got to get this PT 17 put together and get out and do a flight review on it. So that's three videos that we're going to be making this week. You guys, uh, they're all build videos and, um, hopefully we have some decent weather next weekend at some point. It's not so cold, uh, where I can get out and I can do a maiden flight on the steerman. Uh, and then follow along on social media, on my Instagram this week, you guys, whenever I do a paint scheme or a paint job on a plane, um, I always do it on Instagram and then when I'm done with it, I'll put it, excuse me, I'll put it on YouTube. So make sure you guys follow along with me on Instagram this whole week while I do that paint scheme on that, um, on that Batman plane or Joker plane rather. Uh, so follow along on Instagram with that. And then when we're done with it completely, we'll put it up on YouTube. Uh, that's it guys. That's all I got for you guys. It was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Thanks for the good conversation. Good talk, man. It was fun. Uh, I really enjoy doing this stuff. You guys really have a good time doing this. Um, we just did another giveaway last night. Shelby's in here. Michael Roshka was in here earlier. They're both winners from last night. Um, I'm having an awesome time. You guys, I'm having an awesome time with this. The channel's finally starting to make money, even though I put most of the money, well, pretty much all the money back into you guys and the giveaways. Um, <clears throat> the channel is pretty successful right now, you guys. And, and it's, it's not making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. No, not by any means, but, uh, we're making a few bucks here and there, um, and uh, and 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 everything's working out pretty well, man. So I'm having a good time with it. I appreciate you guys. It's guys like you, these guys that stay in here when we're just bullshitting at the end. Uh, guys like you that keep me doing this stuff, man. Shelby, you're the man, dude. Bledsoe, love you, bro. Um, Reckham Royce, we'll we'll talk to you guys later, man. You guys have a good night. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC reminding you to fly for your die, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.